Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Last week I showed you the 1080p video ISO test on the Sony A7 series as well as the A5000. And so now you know what the uh, Sony A7 III and A7R III versus the A7 uh, S2 or the A7 II and as well as the A5000, what it'll like. This time around, I only have three cameras to compare because they're the only one that does 4K. So the Sony A7 III, the Sony A7R III, as well as the Sony A7S II, which I just recently sold. And the reason for that is because of this uh, test that I made, um, the 4K uh, video uh, recording. And by the end of this video, you'll know why I actually sold my A7S II. So let's begin. Okay, now we're doing 4K comparison. This is the A7 III XAVC 4K 24 frames per second, 60 megabits, shutter speed 150th, F4, ISO 200, starting standard picture profile, uh, warm, fluorescent, light setting, AF continuous. Okay, so this is ISO 200. ISO 400 ISO 800, you can probably see something already ISO 1600, have a look around ISO 3200, this is what the eye can see scan around, look around ISO 6400 I'm pretty sure this is clean as well have a look around ISO 12800 still clean on my small screen here but again can't tell how to look at the big screen right ISO 12800 remember 4k here now I'm going to do small incrementation okay so ISO 16000 ISO, ISO 20,000, have a look around. ISO 25,600. ISO 32,000, have a look around. ISO 40,000, have a look around. ISO 51,200. Okay, most people would not stretch this far. I would uh, on YouTube anyway, 51,200, but that would be the max. Yeah, there's probably some noise already, but um, on a full HD, when you downsize it to four, uh, 4K to uh, HD, you probably won't see it, especially watching on YouTube. Okay, so expanded ISO here, 64,000. Have a look around. This is ISO 64,000. ISO 80,000, have a look around. Hopefully there is no noise, but you know, you can tell me if you can see any. And lastly, ISO 102,400, okay? 102,400. Have a look around. Looks clean to me on my small screen here. Uh, yeah, That's amazing, right? Compare that to the A7S II. Okay, the 4K, and see what you uh, what you think. Now, what I would suggest you do again, uh, you know, open two windows and you know, open two of my videos anyway, and go to different timelines, right? Compare the A7S II to the A7 III. Okay, it's it's better that way because you can actually uh, adjust the size of the screen or the video size. Okay, now we're gonna be doing the 4K test on the Sony A7S II. This is XAVC 4K 24 frames per second, 60 bits per second. Uh, shutter speed f uh, or 1 uh, The aperture f4, ISO 200, standard picture profile, um, fluorescent warm, AF continuous. Okay, so we're setting at ISO 200 right now. ISO 400. 4K, 
ISO 800, ISO 1600, ISO 3200. This is the uh, pretty much the, what the I can see. So this is what I can see. ISO 3200. Have a look around. It's pretty clean. It should be anyway. ISO 6400. Have a look around. ISO 12800. Have a look around. Remember it's 4K. 24 frames per second. Now I'm going to do a slow incrementation. This is ISO 16000. I think it's still very clean. ISO 20,000. ISO 25,600. I don't know if you can see noise. It's hard for me to see because I'm uh, I'm looking at a small screen here. I have to look at um, you know, on a big screen, okay? So I don't know. ISO 32,000. It probably is some noise now. Especially talking about 4K here on the Sony A7S II. ISO 40,000. Have a look around. ISO 51,200. Okay. Now this is probably the limit I would do uh, on a 4K. I don't know on YouTube anyway. 51,200. Um, I think it's quite noisy, but um, you know maybe 12,800. Uh, but anyway, this is ISO 51,200. 4K. ISO 64,000. Have a look around. ISO 80,000. Have a look around. ISO 102,400. Uh, Have a look around. ISO 128,000. Have a look around. You might want to pause the video too, right? ISO 160,000. Have a look around. ISO 204,800. Have a look around. ISO 256,000. Have a look around. ISO 320,000. Very bright now. Probably lots of noise here. And lastly, ISO 409,600. It's super bright, probably a lot of noise, but this is the maximum limit for Sony A7S II. I would not go this far. However, if I want to have fun with uh, dark uh, night, this ISO will definitely do me good. Okay, we're now doing 4K uh, Sony A7R III. It's set at XAVC codec 4K, 24 frames per second, 16 megabits, shutter speed F, um, the 150th F4 or aperture, ISO 200, standard picture profile, uh, AF continuous. So ISO 200 starting as our ISO. ISO 400 ISO 800, I think you start to see something already ISO 1600 oh, wait. kind of strange that this is um, moved down, I don't know what happened there okay, anyway ISO 1600 ISO 3200 have a look around so this is what the eye can see ISO 3200 
Okay. ISO 6400. Have a look around. ISO 12800. Looks pretty clean to me on my small screen, but again, you might want to enlarge that on your uh, big screen. So it's 12800. Now I'm going to do a small incrementation. ISO 16000 is 4K. ISO 20,000, have a look around, ISO 25,600, hmm, looks clean to me, and lastly, ISO 32,000, now you probably see some noise already, but even maybe 50, uh, 25,600 as well, it's, like I said, I can't see from my small screen, it's hard to, to tell, but when I enlarge it on a big screen, hopefully that will show up. So this is ISO 32000. So compare that to the uh, Sony A7S II, A7 III, and you have a complete, you know, a comparison of all major, anyway, the major Sony cameras. And hopefully that will be helpful for you to decide to purchase all these cameras. All right. Um, most likely I'm going to sell my A7S II and maybe my A7 II as well. But again, I like the A7 II. Thanks for watching, educatedupe.com.